Today I want to discuss with you about the enemy of women, the enemy of democracy and freedom of speech, the enemy of mankind. And I think if you know me, you know who that enemy is. That enemy is Islam. We need to tell people about this enemy. Women need to know about this enemy, especially those women who call themselves feminists. You need to know your enemy because if you know your enemy, you can protect yourself. You need to know what this ideology teaches about women, what this ideology teaches about you, especially the uh, infidels women. Islam is moving in. The Sharia law, they are moving in. What's happening in, in Syria and Iraq, it will happen here in the future. It will happen here because it's happening now. There are Sharia laws in UK. There are Sharia laws in Germany. They are in Sweden. You know, a underground Sharia laws. A secret Sharia society. You know, as a, as a Muslim woman in the 90s, I sit and listen. Imam preached to us that we women, Muslim women, we should ask our husband if we wanted to go out, if we want to give something to someone else. Prophet, the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I don't know why do they say that, but that means that praying over the Prophet. Say that women should not go out without a permission asking her husband. I should and listen that another woman preached that the Prophet said the majority of hell are women. And the reason is that when women ask what is the reason of that, the reason of that women are ungrateful to their husband. I listen that. I listen that young children preach and say Jews and Christians are monkey and pigs. That, they're bridging that hate breach, hate. And this book, this book is, is, is a book of terror. It's a hate speech. Talks about bullying women, hating women, and all kind of disgusting things. The life of Muhammad is full of it. Everyone can read it. You don't need to be a, prof a professor to understand. This we need to discuss. We're not allowed to discuss this issue because it will upset the Muslim voters. Because the Muslim voters vote for the liberal left parties. And they are protecting. They're not allowed to speak. My blog was closed a few months ago because I wrote about the rape in Germany in in, in Sweden, in everywhere, what's happening, that's according to Islam, because in the Quran, it says that, 3359, it says that if you don't cover yourself, you will be molested, and women are not respected if they don't wear this Islamic uniform. This Islamic uniform. To me, this uniform represented hate. I see how much Allah hates me, and how much Allah bullies me, and Muhammad bullying women. That's what I've been reminded every day seeing this. Women wearing this looking like a ghost. This. To me, this Islamic veil is equal to the Hitler's uh, uniform. That's how much I respect it. This is a hate with the Islamic uniform. We need to talk about this. They are not allowing people to discuss this. I mean, it's crazy. This religion, the religion of Islam, teaches that I should be killed if I... Everyone who leaves Islam, kill him. That's Muhammad. That's a terrorist. The Muhammad, the man who invented Islam, the founder of Islam, says that. He compared to me with a dog and a donkey. He says that three things that can ruin, that every Muslim, every good Muslim who reads the Islamic uh, books knows that. Three things can ruin prayer. If man prays like this and is standing and praying Muslim man, if a woman or dog and a donkey just pass the front of him, he have to stop because the, the, the woman and the dog and the donkey are unclean. He have to start over again. 
So this ideology is moving in and our media, our government, the government that you elected is promoting this culture, this filthy, undemocratic, barbaric culture over democracy. They replace in democracy, European values with Islam. Why is that we're not allowed to discuss this problem? We need to discuss this and we need to educate Muslim women because majority of them, they don't know this. Tell the Muslim women what their religion teaches about us because Islam is the enemy of women. They need to know that. I used to go out and, and make a copy of, of the Hadith, of the uh, Sharia Abu, and go to a little place called Little Somalia and, and, and share women to, to women. I've been chased many times. Today I live under secret address, protected address, because they vow to kill me. Yeah, and Islam vow to destroy every Jews and Christians. Jews and Christians have to live under Islam like a dummy. You know, dummy or demitude. You can Google and look up dummy and demitude. Is that when you live under under Islamic Sharia law, you have to pay half of your income to the Islamic government to tax. If you don't have that, and you are Jewish or Christian, you have a three choices: die, converted to Islam, pay that highest uh, tax, and live with humiliation. Jewish and Christian have to wear yellow and blue dress to to identify them. Yeah. Really, that, that is that you can read in the Islamic books. That has been happening in, in Spain, for example. So, don't believe when Muslims who live today in the Western say Islam has nothing to do with what ISIS is doing, they are terrorists. They are not terrorists. Muhammad used to do that and his early followers used to do that. They used to rob the Jews and Christian, take their wife, kill the man, forced the all Middle East is being forced to convert to Islam. Christian didn't just convert to uh, Jews, Islam. They been forced. They have to pay or be killed or live with humiliation. If you don't have money, you need to die or live. Um, that is Islam. That is what ISIS want. ISIS want the Khalifa from Middle East to Europe. The Khalifa used to be here in Europe, is coming back. So you, as a European woman who were born into democracy, if you love democracy, no matter if you're Chinese or African, whatever you are, you need to stand up because your grandchildren will be the demi of Europe if you don't stand up. And you need to protect your borders because the Muslims who flee you now from Middle East, they bring Sharia. When they come here, they will build their own Islamic area, their own Islamic society. They will preach the, their Sharia law. It's happening in England, in UK, there are Sharia rules. So they will not be part of your democratic society. And even those Muslims who don't want it, they will be forced under Sharia. Because I saw that Muslim who want a democracy, who want to be part of the democratic society, they call kafir. I used to be called, they used to call me a kafir when I wear Somali tradition dress uh, goes like this. Um, we're not allowed to wear that. They say, the Imam says that it's, it's the Jahiliya time, you have to, take away that and dress Islamic uniform. They been oppressed. So don't count on uh, a the secular Muslim will protect you, no, because if they break the law, they will be punished because the Quran says that, O oh, Prophet, fight the hypocrites and the non-believers. It sits in Quran 9.73. So you cannot count on on the Muslim who's coming here will protect you and your family. You will lose everything that you inherited. The democracy, freedom of speech, free, free to think, free to decide for yourself, all the freedom that we enjoy now will not exist in the future. 